right all right all right what is up guys today we're gonna be doing the about page of our little hotel site <laughs> real quick i think i just forgot something yep so what we are gonna be needing in this in this certain um page honestly I feel like maybe I'll be able to grab the photos that we were going to be needed real quick. Uh, one moment. Because we're going to be needing a few photos. Just three because we're going to need two for like a nice little profile picture. Oh, uh, no, we're actually going to need three. Yeah. Hold up. And I don't really feel like looking for any, to be honest with you. I have, like, a few that are already here. And it just needs some attention. So, give me one moment to give that some attention. Maybe I can get it. If not, then I think we might have to look. I feel like we might have to go look for some. Nope, nope, never mind. It's here. All right, so boom, boom. Mm. Okay, so boom, boom, boom. I think we're good. Let me just drag it in there. Beautiful. Okay, guys. So let us get this party started, shall we? So I hope you were following along with like before the other tutorial and stuff. Ha ha ha. Not the one from Free Code Camp, but the part one of doing the front page. Today we're gonna be doing the about page. So what we wanna do is just head on over to the about page real quick. And then just simply copy all of this, paste it in there. But we only want to leave the header and the footer in there and delete everything else. At the same time, we want to make sure that we're not going to be using the script tag so we can delete that. At the same time, change this to snuggle in about. At the same time, just make sure that we are able to access our index. Let's just do the same thing here. Just so our links are working correctly. This we can go and not do that. Save. Now, enter. Boom. And same thing with the CSS. Uh... I think we would need to go, since this is the, so we just got to go back one folder, like that, I think, yes, so, what happened, oh, showcase is still here, we want to get rid of the showcase inside the nav bar as well. Beautiful. Now it should work like a charm. Does it? Yes. Yes, it does. Oh, at the same time, while we're at it, we want to change the current. So instead of on the home, it's going to be on the about. Let's see how it looks like. Beautiful. And she works. Oh, yeah. So now to get this thing a little bit more started, uh, we can just fix up some code. Let's get our CSS out here. I just want to assign it to the right. And now let's check it, boys and girls. What we want to do is create a section. All right. This section is going to be pretty much our about info so let's give it an idea of about in 
info. And also, I want to give it a class of background light. And now inside the section, we also want to give it a container that we want to set it in. And now we're going to be splitting it to two more boxes. So inside the set, inside the inside the section, we're going to have um, a div that's going to be the it's going to be. Let's just give it a class of left. Um, yeah, I feel like. Info left, and then let's give this another one of info right. Now, in the info right, we're gonna give this an image, and this image is gonna be the boom, boom, boom. Let's give it the image of photo two, and this is gonna be. Um, I don't know, let's just call it hotel. Now, inside this, this is pretty much where we're gonna be writing down our little content. So let's give this a nice H1, and it's gonna be about snuggling. Now, I also wanna give this a span tag that has a class of the primary, or text primary that we have before. So text primary boom it looks nice so far hardy har har and then what we want to do now is just give it some text so i don't know how we've been doing lorem ipsum or no yeah we really have been writing damn guys i'm so sorry i haven't really stayed i haven't been staying updated with this so I don't know. I don't feel like writing any text today. So let's just go lorem 20. And then for the next one, let's do it. Or lorem 30. And then for the next paragraph, let's do lorem 20. And she no worky, so let's try again. Lore 20. Come on, Lorem 20. Beautiful. Yeah, I guess it makes some sense. Okay, dokie. Now we can. Let's focus on the little. Um, styling aspect. Styling part. Wow. That was a big brain fart I just had there. Okie dokie, so let's just go down to the about page, or let's just go all the way down, and right under our box, we can create a nice little about section right here, and what we want to do is target our, mm, I don't really want to do anything to the about info itself, but what I want to do is target the about info and then let's go the let's start with the info right which has our image in it and what we want to do is everything inside the right and everything that has the class of info right basically this right here we want it to float it to the right so it would automatically yeah it would, it should have send the text to the ah, whatever I can't even speak right now. Holy cow. All right. So anyways, so info, right? Let's give it this a width of 50 since it's going to be sharing it with the info left. And we want everything to be nice and even. And then let's give it a min height of 100%. Okay. Looking so far, so far. I can't even set. I can't believe I just said it. I'm just going to be quiet. All right, so also let's target the image now. So about info and then info right and then image. So let's target our image. So let's give our image. Um, 
let's turn it into a block element let's turn it into a block element and give this a uh, margin auto cool beans at the same time let's give this a width of 70 percent at the same time let's turn this into a circle border radius 50 percent as well nice and stylish can't you believe it now since we styled the right let's style the left so let's go again about info and then let's go info left and then let's float this boy boy to the left cool beans let's give this a width of 50 percent and then same thing min height of boom bada boom 100 percent there we go very very stylish don't you believe and then i feel like we're like basically done i want to do this other thing yes see this right here i want to add in some padding but i want to create a little utilities class for it so right under here we can just create like a little padding environment so let's give this a padding of, um, all right, let's go with, let's call it, I can't believe I, okay, so let's just create a class, call it, uh, padding, uh, padding, PY, so we are focusing on the Y axis, and then just give this padding, so top and bottom is going to be like, Let's go twenty. Oh, let's go ten pixels and zero. And then let's create another one. Py two, so it would be padding, and then twenty pixels zero. At the same time, oops, oops. Let's create another padding. P three, and then padding thirty pixels and zero. Oh yeah, guys. Now let's give this to this class right here. So PY1, boom. Or no, nah, PY3. Or PY2. PY3, yeah. At the same time, uh, I don't know. I want to give this a little bit. Mm, I want to give our H1 a little bit more. Um, I, want, I just wanted to, to make this a little bit bigger. So. I also want to create a utilities for that. A utility for that be like, oh, but this is gonna be like a utility utility. So let's just call this a large heading. So L heading, and let's change the font size to like 40 pixels, and then give this to the H1. So class of 40 pixels or damn i'm so sorry <laughs> i am not in the there we go too big i don't know 30 pixels yeah i think 30 pixels is actually really nice cool beans guys so now since we finished that section i also want to create a testimonial testimonial section so what we can do is just create a nice little testimonial div and call this testimonials cool cool and now within this also want to give this a nice container inside our container we are going to give a nice mm, let's give a nice h2 and call this uh what our guests say or right, honestly wait 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 what our guests say i want to show you guys something cool and then under this let's create another div and let's call this 
or let's give this a container. Oop, let's give this a class of test testimony testimonial. Beautiful. And then let's give this another. Let's give this an image now. So this image is going to be the image of person one. This person's alt. This alt is gonna be. It could be the name. It just has to be a descriptive thing. So let's call this Bobby or Bodhi, Boobdi. And then this person is talking gibberish. Let's give this a nice lower maximum twenty. And then let's do the same thing. Copy and paste this bad boy. And this is gonna be person one down here. And also, hmm. I also want to be able to make this so it has a class of background primary. Cool, cool. And then this one has a background of primary. Ah, uh, Bodhi doesn't work. Why don't you work? Oh. There we go. And that's not where I wanted to put it. I don't know. There we go. Beautiful. Now, since we've gotten that out of the way, we also want to give this a nice header class. So, large heading. There we go. At the same time, I feel like that's going to be... Oh. We're gonna make the images smaller, but hold up. I feel like we can give them a little bit more lorem ipsum. Can we just go like this? Yes, we can. Cool. And let's just give this a nice little bit of padding. So let's give this a nice class of PY3. There we go. Now, let's style this real quick, guys. So now we want to create another thing called testimonials. And now let's work with our testimonials right here. So in our testimonial testimonials, we want to select our testimonial tag. So test the testimonials and what we want to do is give this div oops <laughs> a height of 600 pixels cool we want to give this uh, also mm, Let's give this boom boom boom. A background. A background. And it's gonna be a URL of those images that we have desperately tried to get earlier. So it says come on now. And then this can be this one. What we want to do then is do no repeat. We want to center it. And then we want to center it and cover it. Beautiful. And then give this a little bit of padding. 20 pixels or no do we not need padding 
I don't think we need any padding. We'll see, we'll see. And now, what we're gonna do now is just like, focus on, we're gonna start from the bottom to the top. So let's get the testimonials again, focus on the H2. So we wanna do text align center. And now it's not working. Because I spelled it wrong, I think. There we go. Text align center. Let's change the color to white. And let's give this like padding. Forty pixels and margin top of ten pixel, and then let's go uh, font style, right? Font style up uh, uh, upper. Is it oh, like, can I do it like that? No. What is this? How do I do this? Font. I thought it was font style. No. Is it style? How to make text upper case text transform text transform upper case nope capitalize yes cuz I'm too lazy to retype <laughs> oh my god that was so much work <laughs> Uh, and now we want to try and get them into the, we want to try and get them into the boxes themselves. So let's, let's work on the testimonial, testimonial outcome. So test, testimonial, and let's write this padding. 20 pixels all around, cool beans. Let's give this a nice height of like 150. Nice. Let's give this a nice margin. Bottom of 40 pixels. Good, good. I'm gonna have to ma make shrink the I'm gonna have to shrink the thingies, guys, don't worry. And let's give it a border radius of like five pixels. Cool. And then at the same time, let's get the testimonials again. Focus on the images real quick. And let's make it so the images are 100 pixels wide. Oh, yes. Look how beautiful that is. Let's float them to the left. Let's give them like a margin. Left, 20 pixels. Oops. I'm at, I think margin, right? my bedtime margin right 20 pixels yep margin right 20 pixels and oh, let's also make them circle so 50 percent wow look at that oh and opacity 50 percent or no 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 0.9 
there we go just so it's good enough look at that guys it looks actually quite beautiful I think that is it oh and um yeah I feel I think that is it I was gonna see if we need to add in the little clear thing in there but I don't think so it's basically our about page wow so we got our home and we got our about this is actually quite a cute guys so yeah hope to guys hope to see you guys uh next time thank you for following along please like and subscribe take it easy i love you all bye